You ready? Send it. What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. Uh, the podcast. This has everything. Uh, we got my guys back here again, even though they don't want to be here. Uh, <laughs> Not today. Austin Lewis and Colton McLaughlin. Hopefully, I adjusted our audio. So I know last time they said that uh, they're having a little, little trouble hearing Lewis here. I talk and, quietly. Uh, That's my fault. Yeah. So I think I think they, that was a good or that was a, a underlying of that and then also he was in the corner and he was off screen for a while too so it could have just been one of those things so um come here here. uh (laughs) so this is gonna be a shorter podcast we're gonna try to make this 30 30 40 minutes long hopefully and uh we haven't decided the topic yet but i'm pretty much i'm thinking like life uh goals life um shit like that just some some personal podcast shit uh we'll we'll see though how this goes i want to talk about how bad you are at a long board okay <laughs> we'll talk about that too uh but anyways we move positions uh you guys probably see the tv in the corner right here um i don't know how how this will probably be the position of the podcast from now on because of the tell me about the picture the portrait right so this portrait I got online from the Illus View, right? Uh, the what? It's called the Illus View. It's a, okay. it's a, um, a website that pretty much just does like dope portraits and shit. They do like colorful, abstract, like whatever. You know what I mean? I, I've been wanting to get some portrait for a while, cause I just like color and and dope shit. But this one's pretty dope, man. It's just like pleasing to look at, if you know, <laughs> catch my vibe, man. Sure. I feel like the artist really feels like he's an astronaut in <laughs> space. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the dumbed down version of it. I don't know. I think of like another dimension type thing. Like you're you're leaving. I don't know. You know, you it kind of looks pro- like look it kind of looks like ways. how in uh, the Avengers, like the rainbow thing comes out and Thor travels through it. Oh, the bri- yeah. the Bifrost. Yeah, where he travels to like. The new fucking time or his another world and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yeah. Which is much different from the straight frost. <laughs> what? No, I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the bifrost is more rainbow than the other one. The hetero frost is so more just a getting, taxi. Uh, we're controversial Jesus. now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> it's, just, it's just different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that was uh that was a little bit uh. And onto the longboard, right? So, so the reason why I'm so bad at longboarding, I'm not bad. I'm in my beginner you're stage bad. right now because I'd say because because you're bad. In the Midwest, there is no downhills. You blame all your shortcomings on the Midwest. It I'm is seeing dude. a trend here. No, you guys have no <clears throat> fucking clue how bad the Midwest is. To be fair, <laughs> I've been in the Midwest. Like I spent two weeks in Kansas, and I left going like, "What would you do here?" Nothing, like, dude. <laughs> There's literally nothing. You got the the high school kids in in uh, Ark City, Kansas. They fucking hang out in the Ace parking lot in their trucks. Nice, dude. There's so there's that. better things to do than that though. That's my like, there is People. better things to do than that. <laughs> it's so there. No, not in the Midwest. Mm. There's like there's the three bridges I guess you can go to, which is like your swimming holes and stuff like that. There's um. But there's like. You can go to Wichita, which is like an hour and a half drive away. But in Wichita, there's also nothing to do, you know, other than the malls and shit. Midwest is the most boring thing. Like, I feel so bad for my homies back home. Like, they they really have no clue what the what the Cali life is like. There's a never-ending stream of things to do. Yeah. I think it, like, it's different depending where you go to because, like, where you're from, there's not as much, like, like there's not City. a virtual reality room. There's not escape rooms, but there's like endless nature things to do. I think like constantly outside. It's pretty crazy because mm-hmm. even we all know dudes who live in San Diego too, who are like never leave the room, never Hurts. got the house. Yeah. yeah, they just play video games and then like, yo man, if you're not having fun here, I yeah. just don't think you're capable of having fun, man. Yeah, Zamora, he's like that. He's just kind of like, oh, we're just dropping names on the podcast. <laughs> Zamora's now. never like, Zamora. Go screw yourself. I love just Zamora. Kidding, I love he's Zamora. just kind of like a. I love Zamora. It's awkward, a good guy. Yeah, awkward kind of kid, but um, yeah, Zamora. He we went to the beach and he sat there and meditated 
the whole time. Are you serious? Yeah, we were playing volleyball and like shit like That's that. What's up. And he was like this in a t-shirt. He was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, Samora, oh. come, I'll, I'll play catch with you, the football. I'll teach you how to play catch, you know? He's like, no. <laughs> okay, dog, don't fucking stab me. He's a goober. He's a character, man. No, and the Navy is full of dudes like that, though. I mean, how often do you go and see, like, on on any given weekday, there's, you go to the next Navy exchange and where there's free Wi-Fi outside the McDonald's and there's just 30 dudes on their laptops, like, sitting on concrete yeah. for hours. Like, That's the Navy like, homeless. under no, 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 no shade. Mm-mm. They're just in the sun, like, like a little blanket over their laptop, but there's like like ten of these guys like mm. shoulder to shoulder, and then everyone else is like on their phones outside the McDonald's. Yeah. It's like this is the saddest thing. Well, I mean, and the thing too is like if you join the Navy, you get a station in California, and you're on Naval Base San Diego, you would hate California, and you'd hate mm-hmm. San Diego because yeah. everywhere south of downtown is Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, sucks. <laughs> <and also, laughs> They don't get paid enough either. It does no, but like, oh, dude. But here's the thing: if you go, if you take like even a 15 minute drive north, it gets dramatically better. Even you gotta downtown, have a car. there's more stuff to do. You gotta but have if you a car. go, t- look, if you're if you're an adult and you don't have a car and you're bored, hey, dog. Sorry. Yeah. Unless you're like saving up to get out of debt, I just mm-hmm. feel like me as a grown man, I want a car. Yeah. yeah so I can I go agree. do stuff, especially like if you are single and you're a grown man how how are you gonna swindle that be like hey do you want to maybe pick me up and yeah. we can go on a date like how is that gonna guys, go <laughs> imagine no. the guys that are like living on the ship right now though where they're like they don't have wi-fi they don't have nothing like that they probably yeah. don't have a car because they just came from boot camp and they can't afford a car right now you know what i mean do you know it's crazy you, how many times have you guys heard oh on weekdays i would just go to the What's it called? The the Liberty Center and just drink, right? Yeah. Drink in my car on oh, base. Oh God, yeah. yeah. I've heard that so oh, many God. times. So depressing. I can know, I know two offhand that have told me like recently that are like, yeah, like weekdays I just get a bottle of vodka and like drink in my car on base. And I was like, yo, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. First off, muy illegal, but yeah. like, God, how sad is that, man? That is sad. I remember living on on ship though, and it was super depressing like not gonna lie like you go to yeah the i remember home. living on ship too yeah bro. i was living in my truck for like two months you were yeah in the back of the i was truck. like yeah. screw this i'm not living on the on the freaking ship yeah that that was <laughs> honestly it was a awesome. little ridiculous <laughs> no, it was <laughs> awesome dude yeah. some things that lewis does is i'm like okay maybe it's a little bit overboard you know <laughs> nah. nah dude nah honestly you know what's pretty crazy is the amount of people that live in like they live in cars, their vehicles, even when they have barracks, because unless you have a Palmer, the barracks is like oh, yeah. just as depressing as the ship. Well, yeah. when I was living in my truck, I had a Palm or a Snyder room. Yeah, yeah, I had a barracks room. Yeah, I was like, oh, remember I'm that's, that's how truck. you came to live with me. Because as soon as I got a Palmer, I was like, all right, you can like no, you, <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, just come stay, and you're like, okay, and I was like, yeah, for the weekend, and then it was like Monday, and I was like. Oh wait, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I'm like, All right, I don't that's mind. Like my, 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 buddy Joe, <laughs> my buddy Joe came over to stay the night, and he just was there for like two weeks. And we were like, "Okay, we'll feed you. You know, you want food." You want and we had this yeah. big ass fucking bean bag that yeah. I put right next to my bed. And every night we'd sit there, and I'd like lay at the edge of my bed and be like, "Hey, Joe." He'd just be like, <laughs> like <laughs> fighting to stay stay awake. Dude. Oh, he, dude, he lived that, over there dude, for a while. It's pr- it's pretty crazy though. Like. We know someone personally, don't want to name drop, but that lived in their car, their Subaru, Outback, and s- that got caught like three different times. Oh, Stretch? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I got mad guys that don't know who that is. Yeah, Stretch. Nobody knows who Stretch yeah, is. Yeah, Stretch, we, that dude who's yeah. like TAD, the Star Sermon, TAD know, Airship, yeah, he, stretches, yeah. He, he, he like rigged up, because a lot, you know, a lot of dudes have like a Subaru Outback uh-huh. that yeah. are like adventures or whatever yeah. with the little storage thing on top. He was sleeping in his, but like, that has windows. Like, you can't, like, even hide in the back. So, he got caught, I think, enough times that he lost his driving privileges yeah, he on lost, base. he lost driving privileges they caught on him base like, for, like, three months or something They caught like him, like, that. three times in his in his car <laughs> sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, if you go on, uh, if you go on base, base right now, did? on dry side, where the barracks are, you can look and be like, oh, that's a, you know, 
the you old literally know who's sleeping in it. Yeah, there's like two vans that look like mine that how I want it to look. They have solar panels on top and like one of them, it's when in the 90s when the Econolines made like kind of camper van conversions and so it has like curtains and windows and it's like it's you're like meant to live in it and there's two of those. And oh, those and those are just the a, ones we know there's about. There's a short school bus that's painted black. Oh and it, yeah. And it says Ranger Gus on it. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. all the windows are blacked out. It's like, yeah. No, yeah. Is that illegal? That. Is that illegal on base? To have black out windows? No, but he it's a it's a literal school bus. A short it's a bus. School bus. No, I mean, but is that illegal to sleep in your car though? Oh no. yeah. No. Yeah. What? It, on base you're not supposed to sleep in yeah, your car. Yeah, it's a, illegal. Yeah. It's illegal. It's no, illegal. I hear that. That's what oh my bad, my bad. I was like, what are you pointing at? It's loud as fuck. Oh, you hear this? Yeah, you could hear like the vibrations and everything. That's why last time when he was chewing on that shit, yeah, it was vibrating the springs and just like going nuts. Yeah, no, it's uh, that's why I wanted you guys to bring your fucking headphones because I was like, you uh, guys can listen to every truck. little thing. Yeah. I don't have jack headphones anymore. Yeah, you know, it truck. is it is illegal to sleep in your car on a on a navy base. They frown upon that. Heavily. That is so crazy. But the thing about that that those are just the people we know for sure that do it. Oh yeah. How many people do you think? Oh, and that's not including the people on the ships yeah. that are sleep on wet side. I've seen camper vans over oh, there yeah, too. I've seen camper vans on wet side. What's yeah. crazy is like in Cali, I try to explain this to people who are like, oh, you're really making a camper van? I was like, you don't know how many of these things are here in Southern California. Yeah. You go to the beach, you go like- They're the, all over the beach, All dude. over the beach, but in like the nicer uh, beach communities where it's like not the beach bums, it's like the people that own the mansions on the beach- those guys have like the old restored ones that you look up and you're like, oh, that's a fifty thousand dollar, you know, Volkswagen bus, mm. and you look inside and it has like a bed and stuff. And you're Jesus like, oh. Christ! So you got like the the uh, bargain beach bums. You got the nice people, but like Yosemite and the more of the woods you go, you see like the sprinters and the people you can tell that just climb you around. And mm-hmm. yeah, I think this stuff's really making a, a resurgence. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah, when, when I outdoors, stay away from the cities. Yeah. Just got to go outside, man. We're not uh, outdoors. I guess, yeah. But um, rock climbing, right? So when we go rock climbing and shit, for instance, like a, a month or two ago, when we went and we, we did the outdoor fucking, the one uh, the one in over there in Mission Valley? Valley? Yeah, yeah, over there in Mission Valley. For all the corona nonsense? Yeah, fucking ridiculous. Um, But like when we went up there and it was our first time fucking going up the – the fucking that it was my first time at least going up to like kind of free what do you call that just outdoor sport climbing yeah outdoor sport climbing that's all it is i guess but yeah there's like trad and traditional and sport Mm -hmm. we do sport with like the ropes traditional is like where you're sticking stuff in the cracks and you can like expand it so it like Mm. anchors itself in it's like more Mm. dangerous you still use oh indoor outdoor we did outdoor i guess it was yeah Yeah. but dude honestly i was fucking terrified because you we (laughs) That's a long way up. Yeah, no outdoor shit. outdoor is even Sketchy, with the it's bro. weird, man. Even I've been like we've been doing it a while, and even when you get to yeah. the top and you actually look down, I realize that the more into I get, the less I look down. I'm mm-hmm. more just focused on what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I trust what's the right in front of me. But once you get to, I mean, like when we went a few months ago, that was like when I got to the top, and I kind of was like, oh, I got to the top, and I looked down, I looked up, and there's a hawk like circling right, at, like. I love pretty much going like, like screeching, and I was yeah. like, "Oh wow, that's like that's a, that's a cliff." Oh, I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The oh, thing yeah. that I don't I worry about is not is not like the, tank is my shoe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> look at him. I got it. <laughs> I don't worry about falling like down to my death. I worry about like if I'm climbing and I'm to the side of the rope a little bit and I Taking fall and you or? like you like do a little window washer back <laughs> and forth just. <laughs> Yeah. just head scraping on the cliff yeah. that's what i worry about i'm like this five foot drop it's is gonna, gonna suck yeah. yeah that's that's more Literally, in my head yeah. when i got up to the top right there and i was like okay i'm arms reach from the very like where we clipped off off yeah and i was like i was kind of stuck you know and I, I remember like i remember i i got to that point and i was like okay there's no grip nowhere i can grip yeah you that's know what i mean that's scary man 
When I, yeah. What's scary is like when you when you say that you get up there, there's no grip, and you're hanging on by like a ledge like this, and yeah, your fingers like, like this, yeah. and it's not it's not that you can't hold yourself up, but you sit there and go, okay, how long can I stay like this? And that's when you start shaking. You're like, uh, I have maybe ten more seconds yeah. to figure out where to put my feet exactly. and like get up there quick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do this adjustment where I put my I put my foot on this this piece, and then like once I start getting tired from that. I'll go to the back heel and I'll be like, okay, <laughs> switch, switch, switch. It's not how you're supposed to do it at all. Dude, I, I was scared. At, I was scared up there. You have I was to like, use your dude, big toes. Yeah. Because they, they teach you, they, they want you to trust your gear, right? Yeah. But when you're up there, you're like, <laughs> You're like, well, I could die. Yeah. Like, you're like, <laughs> what if this gear fails? What if, dude, fucking, well, how about, you know, how about the first time that I, that I, lead climb? The first time I tried lead climbing? Yeah. First We've time. We've climbed before. Right? Uh, yeah, before that time, but like the the first or like that time when when we took you, that was uh-huh. the first time I had actually gone out and rappelled outdoors, and like I knew what I was doing, but just I was scary like, shit, huh? Yeah, I was like, all right, this is this is different. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Like doing things for the first time after googling it or like YouTubing it. Yeah, it's taking a class. Vastly I, I took classes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> it's vastly different. It's like. You see it on YouTube, and you're like, okay, that's easy as fuck. And then you go do it, and you're like, you're like, you're up there, and you're actually in the shit. And you're like, yeah, do I trust the guy who just fucking, <laughs> who just fucking strapped on yeah. this piece at the very top? Honestly, you know? the thing about climbing, though, climbing is especially sport is really simple. It's, it's super like, simple. can you tie a figure eight? Can you make sure the carabiner's no, locked? Monkey knot. Can you just? Yeah. So it's called figure eight knot. I was called a monkey knot. That's a, long it's a controversial name in these times. Oh my god! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, it's basically can you set up an anchor? Which an an anchor is like probably the most complicated part. Which you yeah. can also learn that in maybe five minutes. Especially that's, it's it's pretty simple. Uh-huh. It's really just one, two, tie, tie. I think clip. it's I think it's kind of huh. like driving, where it's like I think I have this theory that people are actually the best drivers. They're really, really good drivers the first three months they get their license. Then the next six, they are a hazard to everybody on the road because that's when they get confident and they're like, I don't need to check behind me to switch lanes. Boom. That's when they hit somebody, you know? Uh It's like, I worry about like decent drivers after that. I worry about like the thousandth time that I do this about getting complacent and not checking or screwing something up. Yeah. 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 Well, that's why when I was up there, I'm like, I kept like, Double like every time I change yeah. something, I was like, I'm still attached to the wall. Okay, and I do the next thing. I'm like, all right, I'm still on the wall. And yeah, the next thing, that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. If I was doing that, I'd be <gasps> like stressing the fuck out. I'd be like, okay, yeah, dude, <sighs> this is double check, triple check. This is this is. No, yeah. like, oh my I, god. I, the thing I get really nervous about too is like, I have I'm okay with hurting myself. Like I'll be like, okay, yeah, that looks right. But when I'm setting it up like for the girls. Or for yeah. like when I was setting up that anchor for when we were us. top roping, that's when I was like, like I'll literally get halfway down and be like, let me go back up and check it again. Like, yeah. like let me please just go do this one more time. Because if like yeah. if I kill like if you guys get up there and just ah boom, <laughs> yeah. that's when I'll feel really bad. Yeah, scary shit, huh? Yeah. Well, that, see, that's why you lower off at first. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, right? If anybody's gonna get hurt, it's gonna be you. Hopefully. Yeah. Would you guys ever go multi pitch? I very much want to multi pitch. Uh, what is it? Devil's Tower in Wyoming. I want to do it. Can you climb that? Yeah, apparently. Really? And apparently, it's freaking Tommy Ca- Caldwell, Cadwell, whatever. He Caldwell? climbed it when he freaking his dad took him and his sister out when they were like ten and twelve, and they did it. Tell you, man, that's how you can't get, be that bad. That's how you get at sports now, man. Yeah, it's like I think you. I think you can get good at stuff and you can work really hard at it, but you're never gonna be that kid that's been doing it since he was five and it's just like Natural you were born and raised especially badass. like i think something like climbing or what's another what's another like outdoor action sport like surfing yeah where it's like you can work your butt off but this isn't a sport where natural athletic talent will get you far like yeah. you have long arms cool but like this is all skill you're not gonna you're not gonna beat anybody because you're mm-hmm. fast as hell here. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's not like a football. Where it's like, oh, you didn't start yeah. playing until you're 15. But you're 300 pounds. Get in there, kid. Like, yeah, you're a fucking animal. What were you gonna say yeah. though? Would you ever? Would you guys ever? I asked Jones today. Would you ever go squirrel suit like oh, flying? Yes. I told him that too. Oh, I was like, yes. I was like, yes. That, 
Yes, dude. I want a base jump too. I literally told him I'm like, I, will, I want my base. I, I will base jump. I will base jump. It's the squirrel suit thing. Okay, uh, I should I, preface. I don't know about that one, man. I, I should preface this. I would not. I would not. You do wings. it out of a plane. I do it out of a plane, yeah. like because I know they do it in mm. Hawaii, and it's just you jump out of a plane and then yeah. you fly around. And I mean, that's essentially that's essentially just skydiving yeah. with yeah. style at yeah. that point. That's what yeah. we were talking. I'm talking about. like, dude, like, mountain. do you remember what? Like uh, what's that one? What's that one guy's name? Trevor Thompson. No, Andy who, and Thompson who does it? it? Who does it? Like cross country. This is. Have you heard of this cross country uh, oh. wingsuit flying? Mm. Like is that they, Jeff Shapiro. Yes, Jeff Shapiro will go like to the Alps or the Himalayas, oh, yeah. and they'll like do these crazy hikes up like you know a, a twelve thousand foot mountain or whatever, mm. where you're like literally rock climbing. You get to the top. And then you jump off and you squirrel suit that thing and you fly like to a different place, but it's like a race across like huge yeah. distances. It's, it'll be like a week long and it's like super, like you're like running, but you're like, you're like flying, competing against these guys. Yeah. He like, does he it get runs. any more metal than that? Like you run with your suit and then climb and then <sighs> jump and fly and I, land and run. I, I, I want to say I wouldn't do it, but like <sighs> the older, every time I say I'm not going to do something, I see someone else do it, and I'm like, well, I can't be a bitch, so I have to do it now. <laughs> like, do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you just, no, yeah. that that really is the story of my life, though. It's like, yeah. oh, I don't want to do that. Like, well, well, he did. Uh, we have video proof yeah. of you doing this I can't, in Canada. I can't be that guy now oh, no. <laughs> of literally jumping <laughs> off that. Yeah. yeah. We have video. So in the video, it's <laughs> yeah. we're on top of this cliff. Dude, that was and, sketch. And I'm like, <laughs> that was sketch. <laughs> We did not know how deep that water was. No, and it was yeah. like 30 feet up. Yeah, so we're, we're fucking up pretty high. And sa- it was Sandoval Bro, recording. Bro, that was high. That yeah. wasn't a small little jump. Yeah, someone was, was recording it and it was like up there with us. Yeah. And we were like, all right, you ready? And I'm like, I'm ready. So I go and I fucking jump and I leap and I go through and I, I make it back. He's like, you good? I'm like, that was fucking <laughs> cool. That was good shit, Yeah. Dude. And he, he turns the camera and goes, well, now I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that video. Yeah. Oh, well, now I have to. Yeah. So. It's on my Instagram. Go check it out. Hunter you, honestly, th- I think my friends have a big <laughs> influence on me because like, if I had friends that were like, dude, let's go be like infantry in the Marines. I'd be like, no. And they did it. And like, well, shit. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I guess I'm signing my up. My buddy <laughs> TJ is after me. He's like, hey, we should get in, into downhill longboarding. And, you know, we, we've capped out at like 43 miles an hour on a board. I was like, I don't want to do that. And then he did, did it a couple of times. I was like, oh, I got to do it now. Dude, you oh, can't, you can't be the one that doesn't go. Like, yeah, yeah, no. Because then, can't. like, that's to an, a certain extent too, though. Like, I think wingsuit would probably be my extent. Like, if I seen fucking yeah. like <laughs> some sketch ass shit, like Lewis fucking flies off this short ass little mountain. But then and here's you're the like, thing, uh, though. What if like d- down the road, you guys are at a party, right? And what if like I went wingsuit flying? And like it's a party, we're talking. All their girlfriends and family are there, and I went, you know, hiking's cool, but there's <laughs> nothing like jumping out of a plane and literally flying through the air. And everyone's like, oh my god, that's so cool. And they're like, Jones, what have you been up to? And you're like, oh, I, I uh, saw Avengers again the other day. I learned how to iron the other day. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I run a podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude. okay, you don't have a podcast. <laughs> you don't have a podcast. Shut up. But that's but that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like, entertaining though. It's like when other. I, like, I don't like when people can outstory me. No, oh, yeah, yeah. To an ex- yeah, to a certain extent. I think again. for some <laughs> people, you gotta just kind of accept that. Like, if I'm ever in a room with Jeff Shapiro and he's like, "Yeah, I'm really into like catching oh. falcons and teaching them to hunt and like cross country wingsuiting and running marathons," be like, "All right, well, you're cooler." Yeah. But oh, hello, Jesus I'll take Christ. Second. Yes, yes. Hey, hey, no, relax. Yes, hey. Relax. He's a fucking one man wrecking are, ball. Holy why are you shit. So he just came in why and are you fucking so excited? rocked everything. Um Holy cow. But yeah, I was telling him about the the whole wingsuit experience. It'd be one of those things where I'd have to oh, really wow. go through my bucket list oh, wow. and experience life. You know what I mean? First and then <laughs> on the off chance you die. Yeah, and then I'd go wingsuit and I'd be like, Okay, that wasn't as bad as I hyped it up to be, but also like what if I did die and I didn't get to fucking have a kid and, you know, do yeah, all this stuff? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think... Uh, That's the sketch shit. When Addie said that she would go uh, she would go skydiving, that was when I was like, 
Well, I can't let Hermione skydive and I don't skydive. Dude, like, I would skydiving is not even a big deal. Yeah, that's, a, that's the, the thing. The wing dude, that's skydiving. Really... There is more. There is more deaths in skydiving than you would think. Really? It's not. Yeah, it's not uncommon. You know, Jamie, I... look that up. I'm Jamie right now. You're Jamie. <laughs> I think he got his teeth are getting strong, dude. They fucking hurt. Damn it. Yeah, it's like I, he might. And I don't know why he just out of nowhere just wants to be a fucking yeah. a crackhead right now. When look he was at a him. baby. Look at him, guys. He's a fucking crackhead. What? Oh, oh there's oh. a bar there. You gonna pick him up? Not really. <laughs> I think he'll he'll be chill. He's a chill dog. But um Yeah, skydiving and shit. Uh my boy my boy don't wanna name names, but him and his wife are going skydiving, I think. They were thinking about this weekend maybe. I gotta ask him tomorrow while I'm on duty from, with them. From back oh, from I got the ship, you. yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Crazy, crazy. Nice. You're ridiculous. All right. Turns out skydiving is actually getting a lot safer, and there's only 2.3 deaths for every 10,000. That's not bad. 10,000 jumps. Yeah, which actually, bad. I was looking up um, rock climbing injuries and deaths last night. Cause oh, I knew really? Because we were going to be um, doing it hopefully as soon as this freaking corona thing gets yeah, over with. Yeah. And. Uh, Jesus Christ. I think that one was like around the same numbers as like for every 10,000 people, three people die every year. Mm. Like 10,000 climbers or whatever. You're like more likely to get killed by a cow mm. than you are. Yeah. That's a stupid stupid statistic. That's you're more likely to get killed (laughs) by a cow than a shark in America. Be like, okay, well, how many people are around (laughs) around in the ocean every year? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, A lot. A lot. Are in the ocean every year versus like I feel like it's more common to see a cow than a shark though. Yeah, but when's the last time you seen a cow? Dog, like I don't know. Recently, <laughs> no. There's I'm a lot of there's you. a lot of like farms here in uh, California. Yeah, but Midwest, the amount of people that are not like the amount of how do I explain this? There's so many people in the ocean like right now today probably since it's a nice day out and whatnot, but uh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but um, there's a ton of people in the ocean. And you'd think that sharks would just go haywire. But I guess they don't like our blood, you maybe. you sitting your balls in my arms? No. There's something. So, like, You're sitting your balls. believe it or not, San Diego, off the coast of San Diego, is actually where gray white sharks go to uh, breed. Bone. And have the, is it bone? Or I think they have their young here. Because it's, it's warmer uh, water, isn't it? Yeah, it's warmer, yeah. which is surprising because, yeah, for everyone that doesn't know, California's water is actually freezing because mm-hmm. it flows downward from Alaska. So if you think you're going to go here and have a tropical it's paradise, the, the water is actually very cold year-round. Yeah. Yeah. In summer, it's bearable, but in winter, it is an ice bath. Yeah, fucking freezing. Well, I, just, I mean, it it's good. it's like cool. It feels good. I like but, it. But I mean, I'm mean, i also went. like a dude with meat on his bones, so it doesn't hurt yeah. me as much as like it does no, you. Yeah. Literally, when we went... Uh, it, was, it was freezing that what day. Was that it was called? really cold. Black Beach? No, 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 no. Not Black Beach. Uh, what, was what, what, what uh, Ho Chi Minh Trail. No, what were we doing? That's that was, um, oh, boogie, board. boogie boarding. Yeah, boogie boarding. Boogie, boogie boarding. boarding. Yeah, we yeah. went boogie boarding, dude. You were I like, do that, dude. He was like, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm like, I'm fucking shivering. So no, I'm, I mean, you like, don't have any meat on your. I really yeah. don't, dude. The devil's punch bowl. You're like turning purple, and he yeah. and I are like, yeah, it's. I'm good, telling man. you, like all my life, I've hated cold, cold weather, cold water, being cold, anything. High school. You see me walking around in sweats and a sweatshirt all day long, dude. I really yeah. think that's a that's a thing though, because like, I think some people don't have like good at circulation of their hands and feet. Like my mom, her hands are freezing twenty four seven. There's like my hands, they like they never get cold. Like they're always warm. You that's know. That's how I feel. My hands right now. Ah, why are you yeah. cold, man? I don't know. I think some people are just cold blooded, dude. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's, I think it is circulation, and I don't know if it it directly. What's that shit called? The white shit? We were just talking about like a Middle week ago. Middle Middle ago. Yeah. I don't know if that's like I a... That's a skin condition. I don't yeah. know that affect you. Well, I don't know though. But anywho. It could be like a underlying problem, you know? Because I have it on my feet too. The Same sh- thing. The sharks out here, like the, the gray whites and whatnot, one, they're so big that for them to come into shore to kill a human, they would get stuck. They just bottom out. Yeah, yeah they would just... It's interesting choice of words, but yeah, they'd bottom out on the <laughs> sand. Yeah. But two, there, if you're in the water, if you're in the ocean in San Diego or really anywhere in the West Coast, mm-hmm. there are sharks around you. Yeah, for there sure. are 100% sharks, probably within 10 feet of you, like at all times. Boner. 
it's the scariest oh, thing. But isn't no, it? but here's oh, the thing: he the the most of the sharks you're gonna see are leopard sharks, not to be confused with tiger sharks. Tiger mm. sharks, they have like little stripes going down, look like tigers. Super aggressive. Mm. They will hurt humans. That's the shark that bit uh, Bethany Hamilton. But leopard sharks, they feed off of little critters on the uh, on the bottom of the ocean. So their mm. mouth is like on the bottom of their of their oh, body. So okay. like for them to bite a human, Bottom they would feeders. have they would have to like turn sideways or like really switch oh, it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, they would like they would have to like bite up. They couldn't see them. No, yeah. yeah, but they're also they're only like four feet, four or five. I've seen big ones that are like five feet long. Mm. But like if you like if you go on my kayaks and stuff, mm -hmm. or if you go out to certain parts like in La Jolla and you just snorkel, you'll see them. They're mm. there, but they don't want anything to do yeah. with you. Dude, Even yeah, most scary. most of the time, great white even great white, but most shark in general attacks, they don't end up being deaths because sharks mm. will take what's called a curiosity bite. So that's why a lot of animals end up with like, or a lot of people end up with like a lost arm, a lost leg, because they'll take that bite and they'll test it. But we're all bone. They don't want us. So that's why like you get like the Bethany Hamiltons that have an arm lost or something like that, but it's rarely ever a death. Mm. They don't want to eat us. They want like a seal where it's just boom, fat. Yeah, I was and gonna say mean. when you when you see yeah. like documentaries mm -hmm. and stuff, they swallow them bitches whole. Like mm -hmm. just fucking come up and come out of the water for them. So well, the with us, you see, like I, I guess I never did notice that they do get that little nibble. Like surfers, they'll nibble on their foot, and you see the surfer out out of the water, kind of just being like, "What the fuck is happening right now?" You know, because yeah. you're in shock and you're just like, "Oh shit!" Like it's I need to get the fuck out of here. Bite. Yeah. yeah, but uh, the first ever shark attack I had heard of was when I was in the navy and I was coming home. And my mom was like, "Yeah, this this juvenile gray white um, bit this kid. It was a it was a young gray white. It was nine feet long, which they get like fifteen to twenty. Yeah. And so it was like a little teenager. And there was this uh this like thirteen year old kid swimming in not in a like ten feet of water, I think. And it came up and bit his stomach, and then it let go because it was like, uh. But it, I mean, his stomach was like a little chewed up. But he was fine. Really? Yeah, he made full recovery. He's he's fine. Wow. Oh, yeah, but there's a dogs. There is a another girl. I feel like a, this is like a decade ago, but a shark jumped out of the water and got her head Aww. and then just immediately let go. But she had a, she had a, a, a tooth stuck in her head. But Aww. I'm telling you, once, once they get a hold of you and they feel nothing but bone, they don't want it. So that I, is I've, gnarly. I've never been afraid of the sharks out here. I, I go swimming in the water and I'm, I'm fine. I'll swim out in the ocean. Yeah. No, the only thing I'm scared of nowadays stingrays those fucking <laughs> <laughs> dude. It's, I've been swimming I still in have that ocean video. water for, 21 years i see him but i've never gotten stung you've hey, been hey, here like two weeks bam stung <laughs> on the oh, butt dude i fucking hate stingrays so much now dude <laughs> it was the, honestly one of the worst pains of my life dude it fucking pissed me off bryson's gotten stung by a stingray it pissed me yeah, off yeah he, he said it hurt and what pissed me off more is how fucking nice this guy is. <laughs> We're at the barbecue, the deck barbecue picnic, and I'm like, I just got stung, and I'm like running back to the, like limping back to the car, and I get in the car, and I'm like, oh, like so much pain. And he's yeah. like, I'm gonna go help clean up. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, we gotta fucking go right now. Like, you <laughs> no, don't understand how that, bad that, that, that stuff hurts. hurts. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, like, for the record, I am so sorry. I knew you weren't pain. gonna die. Yeah. And you were like handling it really, really well. So I was like, oh, it must not be that bad. Oh, no, yeah. What I does the pain feel it. like? Is it like like a, a dull, like, like someone's punching your foot, or is it like a stinging, burning pain? It like? feels like, imagine poison, like a, a sharp, tense, like, oh, oh, oh it's like, like it's pulsing like pulsing poison. Vein, like you could feel the poison going through your leg and coming up your leg and just like slowly when we were in the car and we were waiting in traffic on coronado i was, was like, like it's coming up my leg it's coming yeah. up my leg it's I coming up my leg i was holding my leg so my blood vessel jesus christ so my blood vessels would just fucking like stop it right there because it hurts so much like yeah the pain was horrible so you know that when uh so what what'd you do after that? What'd you do after well, when you got, got to home? my place and yeah. I water. put it under hot water and immediately it stopped. So you know that whole thing of like, oh, just pee on the wound yeah. or whatever? The the piss doesn't do anything. The but warm, hot yeah. water breaks down the stingrays toxins. Mm -hmm. And so that's why like if you just put it in like hot water as you can handle, it literally like breaks it down and kind of renders it. Got mm -hmm. it. Uh, I inert. Got him. I got him. It so, just kills it immediately. That's yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah. It also helps with the pain, though. Yeah. That. So as soon as I put my foot in this, it was piping hot water in my sink, and uh, it immediately went away. Like, yeah. 
immediately i was like relieved and he was like well you good i'm like yeah i'm good just just fucking go just leave like <laughs> and then you showed up yeah that's when you showed up and i was just yeah. like i was already out of it out of the pain and everything it was bad dude like the traffic and waiting i was calling hospitals i was like what do i do for a stingray this shit fucking yeah and hurts, they're just know? like wait it out i don't yeah, know yeah they're like just fucking put hot water on it and i'm like god damn it you know? yeah yeah <laughs> seriously it hurts so much i uh i think for the ocean i'm more afraid of uh of jellyfish mm. Ooh, i've been stung by jellyfish it does not feel good I have, but I haven't been stung by like a bad one. It's like, and it's like because I've been walking yeah. on the beach and I stepped on one. I was like, ah, and yeah. then you just. I've the ones I've been stung by in the Gulf of Mexico were like they felt like a bunch of little bee stings. Yeah, like a bunch of I could like feel it, and if I ran my hand across it, it would like flare it up and it would get irritated. And I was like, oh, this hurts. <laughs> and it's poor ear. Yeah, hey, you know, uh, what is it? You guys ever poked a Go sea anemone? Yeah, so you know, sea anemones are actually so cool. pretty poisonous, but our skin is just too tough for them to penetrate. Mm. But it's like that's why when you touch them, you can feel them like stick to you. Yeah, and then they pull away, but they're they're like sticking barbs in your skin that just can't go mm. through. But if yeah. like if you put like your lip to it, your lip will poof, like blow up. What? Really? Yeah, because they can they can get through that. That's pretty sensitive. What? That's pretty. It's just thin enough. Or if like you lick it. I I don't know. My bio teacher told me this. I don't know why he knows, but he's like, yeah. I was like, your your lips and tongue. I'm gonna Google that because I want to see that. Yeah, they just black. Well, did it. you guys remember that challenge where people put their lips inside of like glass bottles and shit? Oh, and, and then they suck on it. Suck on it. And then they yeah. on their lips. And <laughs> yeah, and like stupor. That's what I'm like. Your lips. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what so I'm imagining dumb. people looking like. They're just like, uh, just fucking. Uh, do you Big know it's like lips. one of the worst sensations ever is like when you get hit in the mouth and you have a fat lip and ah. you just cut down it and it's uh, like yeah, anytime dude. you eat something you get some salt in there and it's like ah. it's the <laughs> they used to happen to me when I'd be doing either sparring at taekwondo or jujitsu and somebody clamped down on you and you're like dig your chin in so they're yeah. freaking your yeah. arms across your mouth and just pressing your lips into your teeth and you're yeah. like Whoa. oh and you never oh, had yeah. braces did you yeah, I had braces. Did you have braces? Mm-hmm. Oh, did you have braces? No. Oh, it was you that didn't have braces. Mm-mm. Yeah, did you ever? Yeah, you get in basketball. And you're you like, get hit in the mouth and, then and you like, go, Oop, yeah, you're like that and it sticks split. to your braces. Yeah, your lips like like in basketball. You know, you just get hit in the hit in the face with an elbow. Like it was you probably get like off, every yeah. other practice. Just yeah, all the time. But like, yeah, it would get stuck to your braces like that, and it's like literally like like lashed on the skin, and you gotta and like Peel pull it. it off, and yeah. it's all cut up there. Jesus Christ! I yeah, got in dude. a fight with a kid with braces. And I destroyed my knuckles on his braces, dude. Like, I punched Brett when he had braces. Oh. I broke his braces and fucking. I didn't bully yeah, I broke his nerdy braces, kids dude. with braces. So this kid know, stole yeah. my bike and uh-huh. threw it, brand new bike, uh-huh. threw it on the ground. He's like, "Why are you making fun of me?" This kid, like he, I don't remember, but he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> he he stole my bike, on. dude. <laughs> and he was, and he was like, "Hey, I literally just told him, like, look, man, would you just apologize, like, you turd?" Yeah. And he's like, "What are you gonna do about it?" I was like. Just apologize, man. And he shoved yeah. me. I was like, don't do that. He's like, oh, what are you, scared? And he shoved me again. I was like, I, you really should not do that. And he goes, what are you going to do? And he shows me again, and I grabbed his collar and just like a moron hit him multiple times in the face and then let go of him. And he goes, uh, and pulls his lips off his braces. And Jesus like, Christ. Oh, yeah, like See, did this ever? Did, did things like this ever happen in your childhood where someone How was like, you guys we're going to fight fights? right now? No, never. I just... Are people? I guess me, and my are brother. People, yeah. Are people that. angry in Washington? Like <laughs> you just wake up and you're just like, no, nah, <laughs> the air is so clean, <laughs> <laughs> it's crisp with fresh the oxygen. So green, it's so. <laughs> I'm tired of nice the overcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Did you I remember ever the get time in fights in high school and stuff. Never. I'll, what? I'll chill, I'll I feel chill. like me and you Did had you kind of the any... same mentality though. Yeah. Just like, <sighs> why are you angry right now? Exactly. Like. What, what's the problem, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I was never even innocent. I'm gonna be honest too. California's I've, so chill. I'm not <laughs> surprised. I guess. I've yeah. seen <laughs> uh, something would have to be pretty personal to me to get in a fight. Because like, too. all right, here's another question. You see a friend get in a fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it depends on what they did. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you automatically step I in? I saw it to the fight. Did. did yeah. th- that everyone that I talked to in the ship was like, "Hey, no, dude, they're your they're your buddy. You got to go in there and fight with them." I go, first no. off, I know if my friends. Wrong. Yeah, 
if they start a fight, if they're like talking smack and shove a guy and he punches them back, they look at me and be like, hey, dog, you better hit him back. Like, you're about I'm to get knocked helping. out, dude. Sorry, this yeah. is a, I'll make sure you don't get like double. killed. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you're knocked out and he just keeps hitting you, yeah, I'll intervene. But like, mm. yeah. I'm going to wait a few Well, that's minutes. with anyone. Even if I hate the guy and he gets knocked out and my fucking buddy's wailing on him, I'm yeah. going to stop that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't like, need to kill okay. somebody. Yeah. 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 You know? Nah. That's a controversial opinion, though. Yeah, no. To say, no. If he's a he's a grown man, yeah, I'll I, let him fight his own fights. Dude, yeah. if it's like the only reason you go two on one is if it's if the other guy's weighing the wrong, like he's drunk yeah. and just did some stupid like, yeah. what are you gonna do about it? Even your then, friend, that's you it's like fucking I, I try to I would try to avoid fights. I try to use my fucking my knowledge of oh, wrestling yeah, and jujitsu and yeah, then just fucking take his ass down. Fight, just and get yeah, a fight. Yeah. Either choke him out or just fucking hold him or strain him until like someone else comes to you know. You know what's Calm wild down. too is most of the fights that I heard about or saw were in middle school. Mm. In high school, the only fight we had was when two girls got in a fight, <laughs> and like, dude, Ice. that was that Ugly. was pretty gnarly, Girl actually, fights. dude. <laughs> so one yeah. girl like grabbed her by the hair and was just like, <laughs> wail on her, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we actually uh, had a lot of fights in high because it was kind of a ghetto high school, like low yeah. key. And I remember specifically one time, not in Arc City, but in, in Kansas, it fucking in illinois uh there's this kid curtis not gonna name last name about dude though <laughs> fucking curtis was in the lunch table right and he was like notorious like woman beater fucking <laughs> what yeah like middle school fucking actually, woman beater type shit. actually we we had we had one, we had one of those yeah like really? we had one of those yeah. really bad kid drugs like all this shit and he was, I guess he was talking shit and he called this girl a bitch one time. And it was mm -hmm. like, you fucking bitch, you know, lipping off to her and just didn't do anything. It was kind of eating. This girl took the fucking plate, banged it over his head and nice. he got up. And dude, they were fucking fighting and shit. And like, he got, he's in prison now. But, uh, oh, wow. for, I think it's rape, maybe. Um, <laughs> I think it's rape. Yeah, it's maybe it's something, but might be arson, Jesus. dude. It's gnarly. Like I'm starting to see a lot more headlines from back home in Illinois of like people getting in trouble for, dude. Illinois yeah, is getting ghetto. Weird? Illinois really? is getting fucking ghetto. Like the Quad Illinois Cities has always been no, pretty like, ghetto, bro. <laughs> the Quad Cities as of recently is getting really. Chicago's bad. never really been a little. This uh, this Whoa, is Chicago. Heaven. That's a weird the most thing. we get is like, oh, somebody died. Yeah. Oh, we had a guy. Se Seattle's pretty. Oh, I mean, like your town's pretty. In, in the valley, yeah. we had a guy just die in the river like last week. Really? Doesn't that yeah. happen like every year though? Yes. Where it's like a high schooler dies. Yes. Yeah. This Jesus. guy was like 35 years old though. Poor guy from really? Afghanistan. He immigrated here with his family from Afghanistan. This is actually really sad. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> Man, that would piss me off. Can you imagine you made it here from <laughs> Afghanistan? You're like, finally, I'm free from yeah, terrorist rule to live dude, in harmony in the U.S. So then sad. you drown. He I'd drowned be so trying to get pissed. I would, haunt, I would haunt my family. Dude, he drowned trying to get his car keys. Oh, dude, and it's a stupid way to yeah. drown. And, and and there was a Did he know there. how to swim? I I don't know. I'm, where he was at, though, Blue Hole is notorious. Like, there's actually been times where King County, like, was, like, putting it out there. Like, nobody go to Blue Hole because the rapids mm. are so bad right there in the undercurrent. Like, I've swam there. It's it's a pretty dangerous spot when... It's because there's all the snow melt going on right yeah, now. Yeah, winter it's time. For reason. Yeah. There were times out by the river where the sheriff would tell us <laughs> not to go down <laughs> no, to the swimming hole because down. the out-of-towners are coming drowned. <laughs> Yes, You're crazy man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but there was a chick there that trying to get in, go in and get him, and she's a a freaking uh, river guide. Really, and she couldn't go get him. It was too bad. It was too strong. Sorry. Is it like a? Is it like a a, a current? Like how do you drown? Yeah. It's an undercurrent, it's, dude. It's bad. So it's My an uncle undercurrent? had died because of that. Yeah. So yeah. like the surface looks fine, but you get in, and there's like I've my brothers and I used to throw sticks in the water and watch the sticks get yanked under yeah is it because it's like rapids and it goes like, boom, like no 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 so no, what happens was like i don't know how to explain specifically it. right so the waters are going pretty crazy and what happens is when this like after a storm or whatnot there's a bunch of brush that goes on top and it all piles together in one fucking spot right and in this spot the current's going so crazy that let's say a big ass log is right there the water under. sucks everything underneath and I just don't, fucking I keeps don't think on going. that's what he's talking about, though. It, like, no, it that's, maybe. that's close. It's more like there's just so much. Where is it? Maybe mom didn't send it to me. Hmm. 
like unless it's me? this crazy fast moving Colorado River type looking thing with like all these crazy rapids, I don't see how you drown. Oh, I'm telling you, dude. Was it here? It's a it's a sad thing. Like it that really sucked. Like it was a it was a shitty day. Like actually, my brother na- named uh, his his kid that he just had. Congratulations, Barley and Brett. Um, River. His middle name is Ed now. River Ed Jones. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of redneck river, but Hunter is also redneck. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So is it your uncle? Up? His name, the kid's name is River Ed Jones. Yeah, his middle name and, is Ed. But yeah. you're Ed like Uncle Ed? Yeah, Uncle Ed. Yeah. Isn't it a bit ironic slash too soon to name him River Ed? Oh, my God. I didn't even think Dude, about that. Dude, that's like, <laughs> oh, my God. They they probably haven't thought about that either. Dude, they're going to and they that's see this. That's pretty bad. They are. They like if I if I like why the name River Ed? Well, my uncle Ed had a river. Oh. They're like, oh, sh- why did you name your child that? I didn't think about that. Wow. Dude, oh. <laughs> they probably haven't either. You were the first person. <laughs> I won't be the last. Wow, I didn't think about that. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man. What uh, a fuck? They were thinking about like something. What else were they thinking about? Uh, river. Oh, God. It was River again. What else was it? No, what was his first? They were thinking of first names. It was something. I like, like the first my one. My uncle the Tim cool, died yeah. in a hurricane, so my son's Hurricane Tim Boff. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty gnar, but fucking. Um, it's pretty gnar. Did the baby, dude? They, like, gnar, we've been FaceTiming him. This baby is the chillest fucking baby. Like he's it's cute a true as Jones fuck. child. He's that dude, he dude. is. Like he's he's You're, just calmed down. Dude, you you and Paige's child is it gonna be born? Wham, <laughs> wham. <laughs> Literally, this baby came out and he was like, he came out of the womb and was just like, I saw a dog. <laughs> 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 I just know my child's gonna be crying for attention <laughs> the second he enters this Your world. Your child's gonna come up and be like. I'm like, oh my god, look at that, look at that, look at that. Well, all right, guys. Uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. I don't know what the time is 17 Oh my god, it's gone longer. There you go. Wow, this is, this is weird. What video can home. they can they look it up for? Uh, it's called the Blue Hole Washington State. This is literally back home. Wow, yeah, so like. But yeah, go Google that or YouTube it if you want. We're going to end the podcast here because it's a little longer. Yeah. They got to go home and see their wifeys or go see their fucking yep, call. Yep, I got to talk to Grayson. But um, hopefully this any plugs? Any plugs? Mildly, the Ranger Dude on Instagram. And Last minute plugs, and anything? I haven't even made my YouTube channel YouTube. yet, so yep. whenever I do, please support me. Ugh. I need. I don't need money, but I want money. Um. I would like some side income. Yeah. No yeah. Asked. The Amazon affiliate, now that I think about it, would be a yes. lot. Fu- like, with that board, I was thinking about I was like, you know what? Oh, yes. That'd be cool. You could absolutely get on there and, like, do the, you know, you did the review and then throw the link in there. And mm-hmm. if somebody goes and goes click, and I still them. want to find the most expensive thing on Amazon and just not even leave one review. Leave, like, a whole YouTube channel <laughs> that's, like, just. Just that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you got to Google this, see if you still can do I that. But, anyways. Jamie. Follow the Ranger Dude on YouTube, uh, Instagram. Uh, follow his his uh, Instagram, Colton McLaughlin. I I link it underneath all the fucking all the yeah. Whatever. I'll put something up about the van, so just just yep. you kids wait. I want to shout out my mom and dad. Um, my mom got a little bit mad last podcast because I Why? we didn't talk about her. Who? And I was what? Like, talking yeah, about who? We didn't talk about my mom last time, and she. Was oh. She was mad about that. Your mom's awesome. Yeah. I've met her. Yeah. She's well, oh, actually, we, you were there too. That is like, that's kind of sad. Varies. Something only a mom would say. Yeah. It my, it, like if I, if I call my dad, it was like, Hey, we didn't talk about you on the podcast. Like, why would you talk about well, me? I don't want to say it like, like it was like a narcissistic, like <laughs> you didn't talk about me. Why the fuck? You know, but she was just like, you dude, you she was so nice. Said this and said that, but it's whatever. But shout your out mom, my mom and dad. Mom Love you guys. The your current, very nice lady. The current she thinks most I'm a expensive item on Amazon is a painting listed by the artist himself and he wants ten thousand dollars for it. Oh my god. There's something I couldn't more even write an that, honest review about that. I'd be like, look This is stupid. But like the painting colors are by gorgeous. Abba Avila. Hmm. Avila. How Ab- much 
Oh, you, how do you uh, even uh, set the own price for your, your paintings? How do you paint something like this and be like, I think it ten thousand dollars? No, it has to be a uh, stupid. What, what's that one? What's that shit called when when you're selling your house and appraised. someone? It has to be appraised first. Yeah, I think it's one of those things. Oh. Oh, Art yes, is okay. also Hi, a yes. weird thing where you have to. Um, yes. Hi. Where you have to like be a, a household name to begin with to to be selling yeah. and making money. Art is such a bad fucking like oh, bad thing to go into, yeah, you know, unless you're going into so, video. Like, it's so video strange. Well, anyways, we're going to end the podcast. Love oh. you guys. The podcast. This is everything oh. podcast. Oh. Deuces. Bye.